Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my 30 week pregnancy update. So I'm feeling so much better and I'm excited to do an update where I'm not grumpy and miserable. I'm finally over my cough and I'm not sore anymore under my ribs from coughing so much. My cold is gone. The kids are finally over their colds and spring has sprung here in Perth. So we're all very <laughs> excited to have some warm weather. And yeah, now that I'm 30 weeks, I feel like I'm on the home stretch and yeah, getting really excited to meet <laughs> baby girl. And Jacob was born at 40 weeks on his due date and Kasha was born at 39 weeks on the dot. So I'm kind of like, am I, do I have nine weeks to go? Do I have 10 weeks to go? It's anyone's guess. <laughs> so for 30 weeks, I didn't gain any weight. I'm still 72 kilos. So 14 kilos up from pre-pregnancy. And with Jacob, I was up. 12 kilos at this stage so I'm heavier than I was with him and with Kasha I was only eight so a big difference there um, but belly measurement wise I'm up I can't remember what I was last week but I'm 101 centimeters around <laughs> and with Kasha I was 98 so I'm three centimeters bigger than I was with her. Symptoms wise, one symptom I wanted to mention that I keep forgetting to mention is that my eyesight has got a lot worse. This pregnancy, I usually film these sit down videos and I'm literally an arm's length away from my camera and I can't see my face clearly in the viewfinder without contacts or without my glasses on. So that's been really disappointing because before I could see myself I mean that's not very far like an arm's length but yeah I have had that with each pregnancy my eyesight has gotten a little bit worse and then it does get a little bit better but I'm wondering whether this time I might need to get a stronger prescription again after I give birth I'll just have to wait and see what happens when baby girls here Pain wise, I still have the hip and pelvis pain, but I'm managing it still the same with the SRC recovery leggings, heat packs, lying down whenever I can and resting. And yeah, it seems to be manageable at the moment. One new symptom has been back pain. And that's been quite annoying because it's been when I walk. So if I'm doing the school run or if I'm walking around the shops, I'll start getting this stabbing pain in my back, which yeah, is, I haven't had up until now, but uh, same thing. I've just been using heat packs and resting whenever I can. And along with that, I've been having a ton of Braxton Hicks, which I did get earlier with my second pregnancy. And this time I feel like it's even earlier. I think with Kasha, it started like ramping up at around 34 weeks whereas I've had it for at least two three weeks where it's steadily getting worse and now sometimes I'm even doing the school run and I have to go really slowly because they just go one after the other and although it's not painful I'm not worried <laughs> that I'm in labor or anything like that I just get such a uncomfortable tightening <laughs> that it literally stops me in my tracks um, because I know if I just keep walking and push through it, they'll just continue one after the other. So yeah, that's sometimes a bit funny with the kids when we're walking along and I'm like, okay, mommy needs to really slow down now. Just wait until this passes and then, and then we can go again. <laughs> but apparently that's quite normal with um, each subsequent pregnancy. They can get a lot worse. Other than that, I've had a few first trimester symptoms come back. The tiredness, because obviously now I'm bigger, baby girl's stacking on the weight to get ready for her arrival. And yeah, I definitely do feel more tired. It's not too bad. I think it's a little bit in combination with I've got borderline low iron, but I have been struggling to take my iron supplements. I've been trying to take the um, dissolvable ones because the tablets were making me feel really nauseous, but yeah, I haven't really won with a certain one that I can take without feeling too sick. 
so yeah and the other thing is I have been off meat like I just haven't been really going for meat I'm more wanting veggies and um, fruit and sweet things which has been quite normal for me with like girl pregnancies so yeah I think it's just a combination of like third trimester getting tired and yeah my iron being a little bit low um, I've also had a little bit of heartburn which I know I had earlier in my pregnancy and what was the other one nausea and I think that's just because baby girl like seems quite high still like I feel her movements um, up near my stomach and everything's obviously squished up so yeah it's making me just feel yuck and yeah nauseous at times even her movements she moves so much and I think that's because my placenta isn't at the front because it must have been at the front with the other kids because I've never felt movement as much or as high as I do this time around like I feel like she's sitting very high and yeah some of her movements are so strong that I I literally feel like my stomach turns a little bit like yeah it's a weird feeling but I do love <laughs> feeling her movements that's one of my favorite parts of pregnancy but yeah this time it's been pretty intense and she is such a wiggle pot <laughs> she just does not stop moving all day all night it's crazy if she stops I'm like oh she's actually sleeping <laughs> this past week I also had my doctor's appointment which was my big one to review my medical issues so the heart palpitations that I was having and I also have a clotting disorder so my midwife wanted to see me to see a hematologist and I wasn't sure how this appointment was going to go because I've never had a doctor's appointment for my preg uh, my yeah I guess my pregnancies I've always gone through the midwife teams and I've really loved the midwife led care so yeah but it turned out to be way less intense than I thought it was going to be it was just one doctor and we talked through you know my heart palpitations and agreed that it wasn't necessarily a pregnancy related thing and it wasn't caused by the pregnancy and yeah the plan was just basically if I had them again or if I was worried to go to a regular hospital and get them checked out as well as going continuing to find out what what was causing them um, privately like through my GP and then with my clotting disorder um, she was happy for the hematologist to just look at my blood work write a plan just like we did with Kasha which um, just basically involves me having a drip after I give birth to um, give me medication to contract my uterus because that was kind of the problem that um, yeah we just needed to get it all contracting really quickly so that I don't have a hemorrhage so yeah that completely worked last time with Kasha and I didn't have any problems so I was quite happy for that to be the plan this time around as well I felt really good about the appointment she was happy for me to go back to mid midwife led care which is essentially what I wanted so yeah really happy and my next appointment now is in four weeks which is crazy because I'll be I think 33 weeks when I see them again so yeah I feel like my appointments are still stretched out quite long so that is everything I wanted to update you guys on thank you so much for watching I've also linked to my blog down below if you want to see these updates in like a written version I thought I would start that again that way after I have the baby if I can't get to film maybe I'll baby. it'll be <laughs> Kasha's here with me um baby baby maybe it'll baby. be Baby. Baby. <laughs> maybe it'll be easier for me to just jot something down on my blog so definitely check that out and yeah I'll show you my bump for 30 weeks and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video which hopefully will be a baby buys video hey shall we say bye bye, all right. <laughs> bye.